Okay. It's Susie Q96. Um, just going to go through some pennies today. Try to put some of them back in the bank. Uh, for those of you who are following the Never Ending Saga, I still have not gotten my lab results back. It's been a week now. And they didn't give me any medication, so I'm continuing to get sicker and sicker from this thyroid issue. Um, I can barely hear. I feel like my head is stuffed inside a pillow somewhere. And I just can't hardly hear. Uh, my personal situation is just as it was. It's going to cost me a lot of money to get an attorney. Which, to that end, I am selling some things. I am cashing in every penny I have, pretty much. Uh, hence why I'm going through these pennies now. Because unless something just really jumps right out at me and says, Wow, this is a monstrously uh, big error that's going to bring Susie a lot of money, it's going back into the wild. So I'm gonna I was gonna do 83s, but or I'm sorry, 80 and 81s, but I somehow got them all mixed in with the 83s. So I decided I'll do the 60s first. There's not as many of those. Uh so my health situation hasn't improved. My financial situation has improved thanks to a few people. I don't know if they want their names mentioned or not. So um, I'm not going to unless they tell me it's okay. But some folks did send me some money. And I paid off two bills. Completely paid them off. So that next month I will have two less bills to pay. Uh, in light of the fact that I don't know what is happening with my finances anymore. Uh, I do know it's going to be a complicated situation that's going to require lawyers. And y'all know that's not anything that is going to be cheap. But it's something that's going to have to happen. So to that end, I am liquidating. Uh, I got to go in there a little bit and go through. Uh, I'm going to probably sell a guitar that I don't want to sell, but I need the money. So anyway, I'm feeling about the same. I'm still having the issue, <coughs> excuse me, the issue with my eyes where they won't, if I try to follow the live stream for very long, I get a real bad headache and my eyes don't want to focus. That's why I'm not doing live streams right now. I can sit here for a little bit and look at coins, but I just can't follow the movement of the live streams. It really, really bothers my head. Uh, oh, that one's. I think I might roll the 60s coins up and see if anybody's interested. If anybody's interested in buying a roll of 60s coins, let me know. I probably have a roll or two of them. Uh, I'm mostly just looking to see if I have any, see anything that is like really jumping out at me as... Uh, I don't know. So anyway, my situation is about the same. I really want to thank everybody that's been so supportive. I somehow got a few new subscribers while I was out sick. So I think somebody's out there. Uh, maybe trying to help me. I appreciate it. This is a nice looking little coin. Nice little bit of toning left for a 63. 
I really should go over here to Variety Vista and see what I'm looking at. These are not sorted by year, unfortunately. <sighs> Just by decade. So. Uh, oh, I've already got a headache. <sighs> Just sitting here for a brief a little bit. I'm looking at, I probably should have sorted these out. It would have been a lot easier. Let me show you a little bit of Variety Vista. And so if you have not used that site, it's really cool. Give you some very nice up close pictures of by year of DDOs and DDRs and varieties and so forth. So this is the 1960 that I'm looking at right here. Kind of give me an idea of what I should be looking for. Uh, so that's from Variety Vista. VarietyVista.com. Uh, they're not a sponsor. I just happen to be quite fond of how their site is organized. Uh, uh, I was hoping that by now I'd have some some relief and some medications and stuff so I could be back online, but. The lady at the lab told me that the results should be back the next day, and that was Monday. So, so uh, I don't know what the what the deal is, but I'm accomplishing next to nothing. If, if you want to see somebody really lose their mind, um, thyroid. Hyperthyroid causes extra amounts of hormone to be made. And throw that those extra hormones on top of someone's mind who suffers from bipolar disorder. And you've got a real treat on your hands. Uh, I can't even begin to describe how hard it is to function. I mean, seriously, I sat there for two hours yesterday trying to figure out how I was going to wash my dishes. And I have a dishwasher, so yeah. It's just debilitating to say the least and they really need to do something because it's not very nice to be like this all day every day and I'm up maybe five hours I can't go outside because it's uh, in the 20s well actually I think it's a little warmer today and I'm probably going to go out for a few minutes but there's a lot of ice and I don't want to fall and break a bone. So, unfortunately, here I am looking at pennies. Not that there's anything wrong with pennies. I just would rather, <laughs> rather be doing something and feeling better. And uh, last night I did take, whoa. What's going on with the top of we and trust and God here? Let me see if I can get any closer to this. And maybe it's just me. All right, Abe, what you got going on? Uh, I don't know. That we looks funky, but it could just be shadows. 
I don't know. I do not know. It looks weird to me. I'm just going to set that one aside. She says. That's how I end up with all these pennies all over my desk. Because I just set that one aside. So, anyway, um, I don't know if the people who sent donations wanted their names mentioned. So, I'm not going to in case they wanted to be anonymous, but I thank you. Uh, I got a couple bills paid in full, so I won't have to worry about them again next month. I may be repeating myself. I started this video before. Uh, anyway, so I'm, I've got two last bills now, so I'm still going to be slammed. But hopefully I'll be able to pay everybody. Uh, I got one bill. I got to gotta call them. They're billing me for services they did not render. And I'm not paying them. For them. <laughs> uh, uh, just like I need something else new and exciting in my life. Yowza, yowza, yowza. Uh, I got to... I'm going to start listing some things on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. Uh, I was, I thought about doing a jewelry sale this week on my other channel. And then I realized that it's Super Bowl Sunday tomorrow. So that wasn't going <laughs> to, that wasn't going to work. So I'm going to shoot for maybe next week. And hopefully by then I will be able to uh, follow a live stream. Because <laughs> right now I can't. I, I can stay in for about 15, 20 minutes and then my eyes start really bothering me and I can't read anymore. So I didn't see anything particularly exciting there. I wonder what this one penny is I have in a tube all by itself. Let's see why I would have this penny in a tube other than the fact that it's shiny. Ah, because it's a 73S. Okay, it's an S penny. Well, I need the tube, so it's going to have to find a new home. I'll put it in a flip or something. I want to put 60s in this tube. I have a hard time putting the 60s coins back in now that they're, they're old, like me, I'm a 60s, well, I was born in the 50s, but anyway, I just wanted to search through a few of these pennies and let everybody know what's going on, which is really that nothing new is happening. Uh, the medical deal is so slow. Look at that 64. That is a beauty. Uh, I want to find my penny books real quick and see if the 64 in them is as nice looking as that. Uh, that's pretty snazzy. Lincoln Sands, Lincoln Sands. Okay, there. Oh. Okay, let's see. These are my original books here. 13, 64. I got a pretty good one in the book, but I think this one is actually a little better than the one that's in my book. So, the one from my book out and put that little beauty in. Let's put the book. Oh. All right. Uh, this is the one I took out of my book. It's 
not quite as nice, but it's pretty good. <sighs> anyway, I just wanted to let everybody know what was going on. I wish I had better news, but I think I have some of the world's worst health care. Uh, they just, company just, I don't know. They don't seem to, one part of the company doesn't seem to know what the other part is doing. And it is painfully slow to get any kind of treatment at all. I've been trying for a while now to get this done. And so far, all that's happened is a virtual visit. And I went and got the blood work done. And then everything stalled at that point. No results. You know, it's a good thing it's not diabetes or something going untreated. But this is pretty bad. You can have something called a thyroid storm, and, which can kill you. And it happens to people whose thyroid are doing what mine is doing right now, so... I'm a little concerned. And, and I also wanted to address something else that happened uh, a while back during one of my live streams. I asked everybody to say a prayer for my friend Mary Lou Serrato, who had contracted COVID. Uh, sadly, she didn't make it. Uh, her funeral's Monday. I won't be able to be there because it's in Michigan. But anyway, she didn't make it. So you people that don't think COVID is real can kiss my butt because this is not the first person I have lost. And it's people who don't believe that it's real. Who are causing more and more people to die. So put on your big kid pants. And put on a mask. Stop jumping up and down. Yelling about how it infringes on your rights. You spreading your damn germs. Infringe on everybody else's rights. You're killing people. Stop it. Well, I'm not seeing much here either. Yeah, if anybody sees anything on one of these pennies that I am missing, uh, I'm putting these in a tube. So you can uh, leave me a comment or something. Say, hey, dummy, you missed a $10,000 penny back there. <laughs> that would be my luck, wouldn't it? Oh my, I really need to get outside and get some fresh air. I am so sick of being in this apartment. I, I tried cleaning and, and it just, I got more frustrated then because I don't have any energy to do it. So uh, I might film a video later on how to clean, how I clean my metal detector because it's still sitting over there with mud on it from a week ago. And I do need to clean it, so maybe I'll show you, do a video on that. <sighs> While everybody else watches the stupid bowl tomorrow, I'm not a footballer. My friend Kathy was. She was a diehard Denver Broncos fan. I never got into the idea of grown men squashing the crap out of each other for points. <laughs> I, don't I don't even know how to describe football. Uh, 
just not my sport. My sport is baseball. I like the baseball. I grew up watching baseball. And indeed I did. So I'm a baseball fan. I got about six more pennies here. Uh, that'll be the end of the the 60s group and I'll probably end this video it does not take long for my head to start hurting I, they don't know what it is they gave me something for sinus headache that did not work they gave me something for tension headache that did not work they gave me something for migraine headaches that did not work and I think we're back to the same situation I had down in Georgia where a nerve in my neck is being pinched and that is possibly causing the headache I don't know what else it could be it's the same kind of headache that I had before I went to physical therapy unfortunately they stopped my physical therapy over a year ago because of COVID yep nothing exciting in those 1960s variety pennies I still have 67 68 and 69 to look at but I'll save them for another day uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep them or not. I really need to round up as much money as I can. So that's probably going to be what happens. So, all right. Well, there's an update. And I'm going to try to put a video together maybe later this evening or tomorrow. I need to try to keep my channel alive. I, I don't want it to die. I don't want me to die, but I don't want my channel to die either. So, uh, thank you, uh, everybody, for tuning in. I'll try to be back with you live as soon as they figure out what's wrong with me. Uh, we'll see y'all. Uh, don't forget to put on your mask. Be considerate of others. Thank you. Bye-bye.